Chief Ayoade Banjo is my guest on View from the Top today, and I'm honored to have him on the program. Thank you. Chief Ayoade Banjo, is this national conference going to get us to the promised land? I wouldn't say so. If the signals from, the, from our brothers from the north is anything to go by, but it should, it, should, it should be. What do you mean the signals from our brothers from the north? Well, they are still not thinking of a united country. In a nutshell, they want Nigeria united on their own terms. A lot of the things that we thought we should rectify to make everybody live together peaceably in a united country, they still want to keep to it. Take for instance, when we are talking of a devolution of powers, asking us that, well, certain part that are in the federal government should go to the states if really we are federal. What do I mean? When you talk of a federal system, how can you talk of a federal system without the state police? Every autonomous region constituting the federation should have its own police. Not the type of the uh, um, federation you have now, where you say the state governors are the chief executive officers of the state, but they have no control over the police. That's one of the anomaly. And then the, the local government, of course, we are trying to change that with the, with the, the confirm. Can the local government be under the federal government? It should be under the state. Or the other refrigerated unit. And the, the local government we have now were arbitrarily made by the military. There was no basis for it. You will find out that some local government in uh, some areas feed mainly from the cross of the federal government. And it was done at that time in order to use as a basis for getting revenue from the federal government. You say, for instance, Kano with the population is as, for which Jigawa was part of the place before, with Lagos. Lagos then has a more popular, uh, uh, more, it's more popular than Kano. But by the time they are now creating the crisis, Kano has also about 40 something local government. Jigawa has about 20 something local government, and Lagos has 20. And it is on the basis of this local government that revenue allocation is based. How fair. These are part of the things we want to rectify, which some, uh, the, our brother from the north are uh, resisting. Why do you think there's this resistance that you talk about? Oh, well, we, we are a beneficiary of the awkwardness. Take for instance, I mean, if we say, if we rectify the question of local government going to the states and that re allocation, uh, revenue um, uh, should be based on derivation, then it is because of the oil in the South South that they are insisting that must be based um, on the population, on all sorts of system that can be defended. And that was done by the military. Before the military came into existence in 1953-54, our revenue is based on derivation. You, the Western region had this cocoa then, we had 50%. The Northern region had this granos pyramid there, they had 50%. The East had palm color, 50%. That was what was done. Even when oil was discovered in the South South, it was C50% until 1963. It was the military that destructured Nigeria and took and, uh, and reduced the, the region to give it the, the um, oil producing area 13 percent no business. It has, it has, as a matter of fact, one of the presidents, one of the previous head of state, it is to one percent was. And one of them again that brought it back to 30%. But forgetting that when you go to the South South, you feel sorry for them. I was there when I was the chairman of the, uh, of the uh, Alliance for Democracy 
1989. You won't believe that the saint you call by Esther, I don't know whether that's a proof now, is a saint that has only one road. And all of that is uh, the, the terrain. You pity them. And this is where the money comes from. And then you see where they should get. You, you want to be richer than the, than, than, than the proprietor. Those who have the money now, they, they are now begging you for it. In a federation, it was the federated state that should be feeding the federal government all over the world. It is the only in our own case that the state now grab all the money and then bring the Father Christmas to distribute it to the uh, federated states. These are all awkward things. That is why many of us are praising the, 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 the President Jonathan for allowing this conference to take place. Because all the inequities in the Constitution, all the things that have been causing conflict, it is an opportunity for us to clear them. From what you see, is this opportunity being grabbed with both hands by everybody involved? Not by everybody. I can say that, not by everybody. But those of us who are really sincere about keeping this country together, we are, we are doing everything that we could to persuade those who are resisting to show them that well, this is the only way we can get on in peace. Because as I was saying, that we are at the committee where I have to serve the derivation, the advocates of the not that, that that committee insisted that the, they should even reduce the 30 percent derivation that because it was the federal government that owns everything. I said, look, you are claiming it because you are part of Nigeria. Let's go back to base. When did Nigeria come into existence? We came to existence in 1914. If, and is it with our consent? If the British didn't force us together, you won't be part of Nigeria. And when you say we should talk of unity, there is no question of breaking. If any member of the Federation believe being cheated, that is why you talk of secession. If you are happy in a Federation, you won't like talk of secession. And if these people now say they are being cheated, it is because you are, you are, you are in Nigeria. That is why you must cheat me on my property. Then I don't want to be in Nigeria. What do you do? That's the problem. That's the problem. To be part of Nigeria is why you are now trying to cheat those who own their property. Now they say that we are not going to be. If that, if we insist and we are not able to settle it peaceably and the Niger Delta militants begin again, it is in their territory. We will spend more money to secure, uh, to, for security than the one we are now talking about. Because that you can't win any battle there with them. What do you think would be the greatest legacy of this national conference? Oh, the greatest legacy would be the, that we settle for a purely federal constitution where every federation the, the unit can develop at its own pace. Autonomous federating units. That will be the legacy. We are everybody, we, we, the federal government will have, we agree on what function we give to the federal government. The list of the function will be limited. All of that will be given to the, to, to the states. That is what we call regional autonomy. A true federalism. Uh, and that is what happens everywhere. But when you talk of this police, for instance, in the United Kingdom, have you heard of a federal inspector general police? You have metropolitan police there. Even the United States, which we copy in our constitution, there is no federal pol 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 uh, uh, police controlling the, the, the states. They hold off their own states. All the elements that constitute federalism, uh, our brothers you know, don't, don't want it. The, the, when you talk, you always talk of Nigerian factor. 
There is no Nigerian factor in federation. A federation is a federation. You are either federal or unitary. This conference seems to me, from what you tell me, that it is the North versus the South. Why do we get that impression? Oh, because they brought us together. Don't forget that we are not together on our own time. We were not, but now we are. Why is, well, does it continue to we be are, the, Don't forget, North ever, ever since, ever since we have been brought together, there have been conflicts. The only time we have reasonable peace was when the after the Banfasi Constitution in 1954, when we really have a really federal constitution and the regions were separated, they would have the autonomy, the function of the federal government is known, and we are all developing at our own space. That was the time when Shibaolo did all the wonders in the Western region. There was competition between the East and the West. When our Lord built the stadium, the uh, Liberty Stadium, I'm going to build, build, build the Liberty Stadium. I'm going to build a stadium. When we started the free education, we are, the East wanted to start at his own. And when we introduced for the first time, which many people in this country don't know, it was the regional government under Shivao law that started five shillings minimum wage. It is an issue because of labor members, we don't know now. Because when they struggle that the labor must be uh, both um, concurrent, the zone must be federal. That the less is that, then they won't, they won't have a unanimity. If the federal government is not progressive, you won't have it. But we started it. These are all the progressive, the agriculture, education. For instance, the agriculture and the education they are having shouldn't be the center. It should be fair, it should be state. The center could only be responsible for laying standard so that people don't just form much or anything. But the real thing should be in the state. That is the way we can get on together. Peaceably.